Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bobby's world. Stop everything! Howie's not standing in the right place. Thank you, Bobby. Howie, move over. Okay. Sorry. This is, this is so weird. What is? This is exactly what today's show is about. Not standing in the right place? No. Tattletales. Sorry. You could grow potatoes back here. Is that a good thing? Well, not if you want to make a good impression on your first day in your carpool, don't you know? A carpool? <laughs> I hope they're having fun. So, your first carpool, huh? Huh? Look, you little dweeb meister. A carpool is when other moms drive you to school. And carpool moms are the worst. They treat you all nice in front of your family, but the second you're out of the driveway, they turn on you. Ah! You know that big bunch of pictures they have up in the post office? Yeah. Well, those are just the most wanted carpool moms. Hurry up there now, you two. You're going to be late for school. Thanks, Mom. I was just telling the squirt all about how carpools worked. Oh, that is so sweet. Uh, did you thank your big brother, Bobby? Uh, thanks, Derek. Now, you be good for Mrs. Danforth, Bobby, don't you know? Uh-huh, bye-bye. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Danforth. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye, Bobby. You're my little Mandy. How come other people's cars always smell yucky? Can I open the window? Ow! Oh, uh, that is, why don't you let me do it for you, Bobby? Okay. It took her a whole day to set those buttons just where she wants them. She goes crazy if anybody touches them. She does? As soon as you're out of the driveway, they turn on you! <laughs> Stay right where you are, boys. I'll be back in a flash. Where's she going? Where are we? Merely oh, Klatchko's house. Guess what? I'm going to have a Captain Squash birthday party. Wow! Really? Yep. That's because I'm the biggest Captain Squash fan in the whole world. Well, I'm the biggest Captain Squash fan in the whole universe! Oh, yeah? Bet you don't know the secret number for the Captain Squash joke line. Oh, yeah? B there, there's a Captain Squash joke line? Yep. Hi, kids. This is Captain Squash speaking. Welcome to my super special just for you joke line. <laughs> it's really him! If you wish to continue, press the star button on your touchtone phone. There will be a charge of $1.95 for the first minute. Okay, kids, are you ready for Captain Squash to pull your legume? Yes! Tickle your funny bean? Yes! 
make you laugh till you feel like a pea? Yes! All right then, here it comes, today's joke, just for you. And boy, is it funny. Two carrots walk into a salad bar, which is pretty silly because the first carrot should have a... If you wish to continue, press the star button on your touchtone phone. There will be a charge of $4.95 for each minute beyond the first minute. Okay! So, what were you boys doing while I was talking to Mrs. Klatsko? Well, they called up Captain Squash joke line and there was this really funny joke. You want to hear it? Uh-oh. This is the part Derek told me about. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Danforth. Please don't hurt me. Oh, don't be silly, Bobby. You didn't do anything wrong. You're an honest little boy. Mrs. Danforth likes honest little boys. As for you, Buster, just wait till your father gets home. <gasps> Tell to you. Mrs. Danforth called last night to set some play dates for you and Rodney. Would you like that, Bobby? Sure. She said she's really looking forward to seeing you the next time she drives you to school. Next time? Isn't she driving me today? Oh, of course not, hon. In a carpool, all the moms take turns driving. All oh, the moms? But that means... New day, new mom. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trudy Kletzko, Marilee's mom. And this must be Bobby. Mrs. Danforth told me all about you. She, she did? You must be so proud. Bobby wouldn't be free to play with Marilee this afternoon, would he? Well, of course. Let's see. Let's have a look-see here. Oh, oh, yeah. Check the schedule. Oh, uh, no, no. Wait, you know. Sorry. How's, uh... No, Mrs. Dan... Uh, Marilyn... Oh, yeah, no. She asked for the Tuesdays and the... How's Wednesday? Oh, we, we can work something out there. Well, why don't you just put me down for Monday? I'll pencil you in. I used to like Bobby. How come he has to be in our carpool? I told you he was a tattletale. <laughs> what is it, Bobby? I'm remembering things. Okay, Rodney ate a cookie out of his lunch bag. Uh, Merrily picked her nose, but she put it back when she saw that I was looking. Oh, you are such a good little boy. I'm gonna make you my official carpool monitor. Now, don't forget, you've got a play date with my boy Buddy after school. Katsooks! I didn't say anything about what Buddy did. Oh, no! I hope Mrs. Molina's not mad at me. I don't want her to. To... <laughs> You can't hide from me. Long time no see. What have you been doing with yourself, Bobby? I'm trying not to let the carpool mothers get me. <laughs> Mrs. Marina wants me to be her carpool mother. But what does that mean? Well, I guess the only way to keep her from turning on me is to keep doing what I've been doing. Uh-huh. Hey, Bobby. Hey, buddy. Well, see ya. See ya. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. But he didn't wash his hands after he went to the bathroom. And, uh, yeah, he sneaked bites of his banana before snack time. And, uh, and when we were coloring turkeys, some of his yellow went outside the lines. Uh, thank you, Bobby. That's very thorough. It's okay. So what do you want to play? No way, you! Bobby looks kind of red, Mrs. Molina. Uh... Maybe you should take his temperature. Let's see. We pick... Hey, guys, over here! Yoo-hoo! Betty. 
Betty? She's terrible at dodgeball. I wonder why I picked her. Ow! Mr. Me. You two play outside for a while. You'll let me know if there's any problem, Bobby, right? Sure, Mrs. Klatsko. I'll do anything to keep a killer carpool mom from turning on me. What a weasel. What a responsible little boy. <laughs> hey, Bobby, I got a great idea. Let's play hide and seek America's number one most favoriteest game. Yay! <laughs> you go hide and I'll look for you, okay? Okay! One, two, three. Ted, you're sure you wouldn't rather take care of the twins while I drive the kids to school? <laughs> oh, that's a stain. Uh, yeah, 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 pretty sure. Ugh. Uncle Ted's driving Yeah, today? yeah, come on, Bubba, let's go, let's go, before she changes her mind. Come on, come on. Hi, Rodney. It's gonna be lots of fun, too. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna be a blast. That's right. Hey, I got another idea. Uh, uh, let's sing the Pack a Bear song from school. I don't, don't remember it, pal. Hey, you guys, uh, what time does school start anyway? Eight o'clock? In the morning? I always thought it was 10 o'clock. Here, I better write you some excuses. Oh, no wonder you kids get up so early. You gotta be here at 8. You know, this could explain some of my grades. I probably missed a lot of classes. Bye! Bye. Hey, wait for me! No! <laughs> uh, Uncle Ted, I have a bad feeling. Off. Oh. I think Rodney and Marilyn and Buddy don't like me anymore. No, that's crazy, Bobbo. What's not to like? I don't know. I mean, you're fun to play with, you're good at sharing, and it's not like you're a tattletale or anything, right? Tattletale? Yeah, you know, Bobbo. A fink, a stool pigeon, a weasel, a rat, a squealer, a canary, you know. I, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> of course not, because nobody likes a tattletale, Bobbo. And I'm telling you, those guys like you. Hockey shockers, you know what time it is? Time for noogies? Time for noogies! <laughs> Why, Uncle Ted? Why does Uncle Ted think noogies always make you feel better? I feel the same. Only now my head hurts. I gotta never chase under Rodney's cabin and squash party in my cubby. So what? Everybody did. What's the matter, Bobby? I think maybe I'm a tattletale. Whatever that is. So you finally figured out that you were a tattletale, hmm? Yeah, I guess I am one. 
Just wish I knew what it is that I am. Self-doubt is a natural part of a healthy psychological evolution. What does that mean? Don't know. It's just something my mom heard on Sally Jesse. Bobby, can I come down now? Oh, sorry. Oh. Bye! Bye, Mrs. Crunchko! Thanks! Bye, Mom! By the way, Martha! Is there something wrong with Bobby's backside? I don't see any tattletail. Bobby? Are you okay now there then yet, hon? Uh-huh. Oh, just taking a nap? Uh-huh. Uh, well, wouldn't you be more comfortable in your PJ? No. All right, then. I'll just wake you for Din Din. Well, if it starts small, like a freckle, and grows, and what does the rest of a tattletale look like? You know, Bobbo, a fink, a stool pigeon, a weasel, a rat, a squealer, a canary. By George, I knew it. It's the only weasel nosed rat fink canary squealer in captivity. <laughs> He's definitely a male, roughly five years old, and if he stands up, you'll see his tattletale is just starting to come in. Oh, cheer up there now, Bobby. We're having your favorite tonight, don't you know? Rump Rost! Oh, now we will be seeing you at the party this weekend, won't we? Uh, of course, if it's inconvenient for Bobby, we'll, we'll just reschedule. Well, you didn't tell me about any gee golly party, Bobby. I didn't get invited. Oh, don't be silly, Bobby. Of course you're invited. Uh, invited. I addressed your invitation myself. And Rodney? I guess I must have lost Bobby's. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably lost it. Yeah. Well, see there, hon. Everything's fine. You're invited to Rodney's party after all. Isn't that great? Yay! For a while there, I thought you guys were mad at me or something. Ah! So that's where my samurai sheep went. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this party. I want to go home. Very nice party, Mrs. Danforth. Oh, I thank you, Jackie. Gee, Bobby, you must feel really bad. Why? Because Rodney told me you were a tattletale and he didn't really want you here. Now I feel bad. Uh oh! I better go tell Mrs. Danforth Nikki snuck a taste. See, you are too a tattletale, Bobby. No, I'm not. I'm just going to tell the truth. Mom! Mom! Nikki stick this finger in the frosting! Hey, 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 rein it in there now, hon. Was he doing anything that would hurt anybody? No. Well, then, telling on him would just be tattling, don't you know? This is great! I learned two important things. What a tattletale is, and that it's okay to stick my finger in frosting. Don't you even think of touching that frosting. Guess I only learned one thing. I'm Captain Squash! No, sir, I'm the real Captain Squash. You're a bad guy. Aha! Aha! Wow, that's dangerous. Buddy, what in the world were you boys thinking you could have hurt yourselves? Or the furniture? Oh, thank you, Bobby, for coming to tell me. Okay. Yeah, Bobby. You did the right thing. We were being stupid, but I still don't like you because you used to be a tattletale. But now that I know what one is, I'm not going to be one anymore! I believe you, Bobby. Want to come outside and play? Okay. Thanks for being nice to me, Merrily. Rodney still hates me. Oh, don't worry about that. He'll like you again as soon as it's present time. Aha! Mrs. Danforth! Don't you just 
just hate tattletales. <laughs> well, that was their show. Stop everything! Howie's not standing in the right place. Thanks again, Bobby. Howie, please move over. Sorry. Didn't you learn anything from today's show? Yes. Not to be a tattletale. That's right. So, that means you don't tell on somebody unless it's important or unless it can help them. That's right. So, how does that help me? Wasn't that where you were standing, Howie? Sorry.